Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Sinatra, and welcome back to HeartNBInstitute.com. Today's myth is this, folks, it's simple. Is vitamin E a lifesaver? Well, you know, years ago I used to think so, but it's not in doses of over 400 units a day. And here's why. You know, back in 2005, there was a meta-analysis of multiple studies where people used high-dose vitamin E. And when you looked at these studies, what the researchers found was an increased mortality. Now that's a paradox. We're supposed to say vitamin E is healthy for the heart. Well, it is, folks, but in less dosage. And there was a flurry in the medical community, especially the alternative community. They said the studies were bad, they were, they, you know, there was bad methods, they used bad substances. The long and short of it is, it was a good study. I've always validated it. This was back in 2005. I've always believed when it comes to vitamin E, less is more. It's always been my mantra. I always used to put women on 100 to 200 units a day and men less than 400. I wouldn't go over 400 units. Then in 2011, a group of researchers from Belfast, Ireland solved the puzzle. And basically what they showed was that vitamin E, alpha tocopherol succinate, had a pro-oxidant effect on HDL cholesterol. That's a bad thing. HDL cholesterol is good for the immune system and it helps protect us. It protects our cardiovascular system. We commonly say it's the good cholesterol. It's, that's a simplification, but HDL is good for you. But you don't want to have it oxidized. Now the research has also showed that vitamin E had a, actually an antioxidant effect on LDL cholesterol. That's a good thing. And VLDL cholesterol, very low density, these are triglycerides. So vitamin E has an antioxidant effect, but it has a pro-oxidant effect. So there's a light side and a dark side. The research has found something else. If you took a, a mere 100 milligrams of vitamin C with the vitamin E, you negated the pro-oxidant effect on HDL. So these studies were correct. Basically what they showed that if you took 400 or more units of vitamin E alone, and particularly larger doses like 800, 1200 or more, that you had an increase in mortality and it makes perfect sense to me. The Sinatra solution to this is very simple. When it comes to vitamin E, less is more. And look folks, it's great to take alpha tocopherol succinate, it's a natural vitamin E. But remember, there's other forms of vitamin E. There's gamma tocopherol. Gamma tocopherol, you know, we find it in almonds and wheat germ. You can take it in the vitamin. It eradicates the perioxynitrate radical, a very dangerous free radical in the body. Only gamma tocopherol does that. Alpha tocopherol doesn't. So when you take vitamin E, my Sinatra solution is broad spectrum mixed tocopherols. That's where I've gone for years with it. Lower dose vitamin E, alpha tocopherol succinate. And you can also take the tocotrienols as well in a separate formulation. Anyway, thanks for listening. From my heart to yours, I'm Dr. Steve Sinatra.